You are listening to Curious and Interesting, a two-minute podcast on what's new and intriguing in the world of advertising research. I'm Dr. Suki Yoon, editor of the Journal of Current Issues and Research in Advertising. We often mistakenly think that we have received Facebook postings or news articles from our best friends. The ads so closely resemble Facebook and Instagram pages that they appear to be natural parts of the platform. Such ads are called native advertising. They may appear as narratives depicting chronological events, or they may appear as listicles, a word that was coined by combining the words list and article. Listicles appear as bulleted points. Sites such as BuzzFeed use listicles almost exclusively, while sites such as HuffPost use both listicles and narratives. Noland and Wen asked whether we use different styles of thinking to process listicles and narratives. They also wondered whether our responses depend on our moods. To answer those questions, they conducted an experiment. First, they had study participants write essays about personal life events that made them feel very happy or very sad. Researchers often use such methods as a successful way to manipulate positive or negative moods. For the second phase, they had participants read a native advertising account about a person who was born without legs and arms but successfully summited Mount Kilimanjaro. The account was in either narrative or listicle form. The findings showed that we use more item-specific processing when we read listicles. We use more relational processing to read narratives. Also, we like listicles when we are in bad moods, but prefer narrative formats when we are in good moods. For more information, this research paper appears in the 2022 issue of the Journal of Current Issues and Research in Advertising.